I tore both rotator cuffs due to poor head and shoulder posture. I could barely raise my arms, but correcting my neck and shoulder alignment has relieved all pain and limitations. I wish I had done this earlier. What causes poor upper body posture? Can a corrective exercise routine fix it? And what exercises can you do to prevent injuries like mine? Well, let's get into it. <laughs> Upper cross syndrome is a postural and muscular misalignment issue as defined by Dr. Vladimir Yanda. You may know this as technic, the head juts forward and the shoulders round. It's this poor upper body posture that we resist, but just can't maintain. It doesn't look attractive. It's not good for long-term joint and muscle health. And it's what increased my susceptibility to two torn rotator cuffs. Upper cross syndrome is an issue to be fixed, and I wish I would have known this earlier before bigger issues materialized. Yanda stated that the syndrome occurs when a slouch sitting posture is sustained for a prolonged period. This poor posture weakens deep neck flexors along with the mid back that usually hold us upright. It also creates tight pecs and traps that satisfy the slouch. This muscular imbalance is why you can't maintain good posture. Some muscles are too weak, others too tight. It takes too much effort to counteract that muscle imbalance. But what if this muscular imbalance didn't exist? What if good posture was your default posture? With certain exercises that strengthen weak muscles and stretches that loosen tight ones, upper cross syndrome can be fixed. I learned about this earlier this year when I completed my corrective exercise certification program. That program allows me to identify and correct both poor posture and muscular imbalances. Unfortunately, most of this knowledge was acquired at the same time that I was completing physical therapy after my injury. But six months of PT and 12 months of at-home work now has my shoulders feeling great. Symptom-free, but I plan to maintain this routine for a lifetime of healthy muscles and joints within the shoulders and neck. So here's the daily stretch and exercise routine that I've been following to not only correct but prevent poor head and neck posture. First is the foam roller pec stretch with chin tucked. The first stretch I perform lengthens the tight pectoral and neck muscles. First lay down on a foam roller so that your head and back are supported. Keep your chin tucked and back flat. Next, with your arms wide open, relax and let your hands hit the floor. You should feel this in your chest. Hold this stretch for 30 seconds and repeat two times. As you get more flexible, move your arms more overhead. Second is the kneeling lat stretch with chin tucked again. The second stretch I perform lengthens tight lats while strengthening weak neck flexor muscles. For this exercise, a bench and pole are recommended. Start by kneeling a few feet away from the bench. Hold the bar with an underhand grip. Place both elbows on the bench while pulling your chest to the floor. Finally, tuck your chin like you're pulling it up towards the ceiling. This provides a stretch and exercise simultaneously. Hold this stretch for 30 seconds and repeat two times. And third, YWTs. The third and final exercise I perform strengthens weak mid-back muscles. Start by lying flat on your stomach. Raise both hands off the floor overhead in a Y position. Next, move both arms laterally to make a T. Finally, tuck the elbows to your sides to form a W and repeat this process. The focus should be squeezing your shoulder blades together and down towards your butt. Repeat this process slowly for 10 repetitions in two sets. When this becomes easy, progress to one pound dumbbells. And quick disclaimer, these are the three exercises that I've been performing every night before bed. It's helped correct my posture to get me into optimal alignment and it should prevent future issues. But if you have a shoulder or neck injury, this routine just isn't going to be intense enough. If you have an injury or any sort of chronic pain, seeing a physical therapist is best. So here are my final thoughts. More sitting can lead to more muscular imbalances. More muscular imbalances can lead to more poor posture. And it's this poor posture that made me susceptible to tearing both rotator cuffs. Rotator cuffs that likely would have been fine if I corrected the issue before it manifested. Luckily, with the help of a few physical therapists and my corrective exercise certification program, my shoulders are now feeling great. These daily stretches and exercises are a routine that I'm using to maintain healthy shoulders forever. This is my latest habit for health excellence. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. If you're interested in more habits for health excellence, feel free to check out my weekly newsletter where I include tips like these along with the most important things that I've read, watched, or listened to within the past week. If you're interested in that, there's a link down in the description. Thanks for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.